1b. Vocabulary. Words related to crime. Words that have a connection with crime. What is crime? Crime is an act against the law when somebody breaks the rules like killing and stealing. These are crimes and the one who does these crimes is a criminal, the bad person who commits crime. These crimes and these criminals are all nouns, nouns. The action is a verb. Now the first crime we have is theft. The action, the verb is steal. When you steal, you take something that doesn't belong to you. It's not yours. Why do you take it? That's stealing. And this man is a thief. He's a thief. He steals things. Next, we have robbery. That's the crime. This man is a robber. And the action is rob. He is robbing. He is a robber. Don't say rubber. This is rubber. It's a different word, different meaning, different pronunciation. This is rubber. And this man is a robber. Robber. When somebody robs, he uses force to steal. Uses weapons like a gun or a knife. He threatens people. Give me the money or I'll kill you. When you do that, that is robbing. It's a kind of stealing. Next, murder. And the one who commits that is a murderer. Murderers steal lives. They also steal, just like thieves and robbers. But they are worse because they steal human lives. They are murderers. The verb is murder. And also, the crime is murder. Next, we have break into or break in. When somebody does that, he breaks the window or he breaks the door to get inside a place to steal things. This man is a burglar. Burglar sounds like burger, right? But it's not burger, it's burglar. Burglar. And he commits burglary burglary and last but not least this man is kidnapping the child kidnapping the baby the crime is kidnapping he is committing kidnapping the man is a kidnapper he is a kidnapper what if somebody stole an old man do we say man napper he is a man napper no we still say kidnapper so it doesn't have to be a kid no, it can be a man or a woman, a child of any age. We say kidnapper, kidnapping, he kidnapped a baby yesterday, if it's in the past. Now, I want you to understand something. Kidnappers, burglars, robbers are all thieves. So, thief is a very general word. Robber, burglar and kidnapper are kinds of thieves. When it's plural, we don't say thief with an F. We change F into V and we add ES if it's plural, more than one. One thief with an F, two thieves with a V, V-E-S. Okay, one thief, two thieves. Now, complete the sentences with words from the table on the left you may need to change the form of the words. What does that mean? It means you can say thieves if you need it. You can say stole if it's in the past. Steal, he is stealing. He steals every day. He stole yesterday. Use the correct form. There was a at the bank yesterday. Do we need a verb here or do we need a noun? There was a man. So we need the noun here. There was a robbery at the bank. Someone, the museum last night, and an ancient vase. Ancient vase? Very old vase. What's a vase? A vase is a container that people usually use for decoration or to place flowers inside. Ancient, very old. 
This is the American pronunciation. British say vase. You can say vase or vase. Both are correct. Someone broke into the museum. Broke. The past of break. And stole. An ancient vase. 3. The asked for 1 million pounds. Pounds is the currency, the money used in Britain. In Saudi Arabia, we use reals, Saudi reals. In Britain, they use British pounds. One pound equals almost five Saudi reals. I'm not quite sure, maybe more, maybe less. In cash, to release the child, release, let go of the child. So the kidnapper wanted one million pounds, more than five million Saudi reals, to let the child go. The police arrested the man. When you arrest, you put someone in cuffs and you send him or you send her to jail. For the of three computers, for the theft, we need the noun here, for the theft, this man stole three computers and he was arrested for the theft of three computers from our company's offices. Two. Expressions with the word time. Time, 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 time. Each time, the word time gives a completely different meaning. Read the sentences 1 to 6 and match the expressions. What's the meaning of expressions? These are not words. On time, in time, from time to time. These are not words. These are expressions. Groups of words that together together, on time, give a particular meaning. They told us that the meeting would start on time. The meeting we are having starts at 9, and they told us that it would start on time means at 9, not 8.30, not 9.30, no, the same time, the exact time. We said 9, so it will start at 9, not before, not after. B, at the correct time, the exact time. Make sure you arrive at the port, the seaport, just like airport, but it's for ships and ferries and boats. In time, try not to be late. That's F, not late, try not to be late. What is the difference between on time and in time? Let me explain. If the ferry usually leaves at 8, and we say that the ferry will leave on time, that means it will leave not before 8 and not after 8. But when we say that you must be in time, that means you must come before 8 so that you can catch the ferry, catch it, get on it. So you must be in time, that means you must come before 8. From time to time means not always, sometimes. Occasionally means from time to time, not always. This sounds like a J, occasionally. I go to a spa. A spa is a place where you can indulge yourself, where you can get into a swimming pool, you can get a massage, you can get a facial treatment. Facial means related to face. Facial treatment, you take care of the beauty of your face. The children are quiet. They are not noisy. For the time being, just for now, they are not always like that. But for now, just now, they are quiet. Just for now. Maybe things will change in a little while. Once upon a time, this is how we begin telling fairy tales, stories that happened a long time ago and sometimes they are not even real. Once upon a time, there was a brave man who lived in a far away land who wanted to fight a fire-breathing dragon to get to the princess. Once upon a time, a very long time ago. By the time I can afford to buy that house, the price will have gone up. It means I'm going to be late. 
the price of the house will go up, will increase before I get the money. By the time means before that. I will not get the money in time. Okay? I will not get the money in time. I'll be late. By the time means before that. Okay? 3. B plus prepositions. Now, B is a verb. In the present, it takes these forms, am, is, and are. In the past, we use was and were. Prepositions are words like up, in, on, about, between, forward, backward. All these are prepositions. Look at the following extract. Extract means this short sentence was taken from a bigger part, from a dialogue, from a text. What does the phrase in bold mean? This man was after food. He was after food. What does that mean? He was after food. It means he only wanted food. He was only trying to get to food. This is what he wanted. He wasn't after money. He wasn't after jewelry. He didn't want any of that. He wanted food. Now, read the sentences 1 to 7 and match the phrases in bold with their meanings A to G. Hashim is usually up at 7. I am up. Am, be, or is, I am up. He is up. It means what? It means he is awake and out of bed. I am up means I am not in bed and I am awake. I was about to leave home when I heard a strange noise. I was about to leave means I almost left. I was ready to go out, but I didn't. I heard a strange noise, so I didn't leave. D. I was ready to leave. Are you for your brother's decision? Are you for the decision means do you like it? Do you support it? Do you think it was right? B. Do you support? You know, he spent a lot of money on a new car. We must be off now. We must be off. We are late. We need to leave immediately. We need to leave. We have to catch the 8.30 train. I am definitely against the idea of express diet. I am against, you are against means you don't support, you are not for. This is the opposite of this. I am for the idea, I am against the idea. G. To not support. B. To support. G. To not support. I am for the idea of express diets, I support it. Express diets are diets that can help you lose weight fast. I hope this long lecture will be over soon. You know, it's boring. I want it to be over. I want it to end quickly. Lecture is like a class that students take at universities. What is that boy up to? What's he doing? Is he trying to hide something? You know, he doesn't look very innocent. What's he up to? What's he doing? And usually when you say up to, you mean that he is doing something wrong. What's he trying to hide? Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like this video, share it with friends. I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.